Hello everyone, my name is Night Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install your own Beam MP server on your guys' PC for free or on a VPS like I'm doing right now. And the first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below and that will bring you guys right here to the download link. All you guys are going to want to do is obviously make sure you guys have Beam MP multiplayer installed itself, the add-on for Beam NG. If you guys don't have that, install that first. Pretty simple EXE client installation. But in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to make your own server so you and your friends can join it. So hit download server. It will open it up pretty much like downloading a 5M server if you're familiar with it. A zip file. If you don't have a unzipper, make sure you guys install one of those. You can install WinRAR or 7-zip. If I remember, I'll leave a link down in the description below to one of those if you guys don't have a unzipper already. And all you guys are going to want to do, I'm assuming most of you guys are on Windows, Open that Windows file on up, right click on your desktop or wherever you guys want to store this server. It doesn't really matter, but it's pretty much like creating it in any folder. So I'm going to put it on my desktop since it's where I put most of my servers. You guys can see I already have a Minecraft server right here. And I'm just going to call it Beam, short for Beam MP. We're going to right double click in here. I'm going to grab this exe and we're going to drag and drop it into our folder. We can close this download now. It isn't needed and all you guys are going to want to do is double click on this exe and open it on up. Now it will generate all of our files and folders that we need and it will tell us that we don't have an auth key so it will not launch the server. So leave that in the background just to do its thing for a second and then go to the second link down in the description below. That will bring you guys to your Keymaster website which is where you guys have to get an auth authentication key in order to actually get your server to run properly. Now, if you guys haven't logged in to your Discord account on your browser, make sure you guys do that first, since this works through your Discord. And then once you guys have logged into that, go to keys, create a key by clicking here and type in the name of your server, anything you want, as long as you guys can recognize it. You guys can already see here, I already have two keys, which is the maximum. So I'm just gonna reuse one of these keys. It's so gonna copy this key right here and control C it. And we're gonna minimize back we can close this exe now. You guys should be able to see here in the background. Whilst we're doing that, every single file and folder that we need has copied itself over. We're going to double click on this server config.toml. And this is basically our settings file. So like a video game, you have settings. This is going to be the settings for our server. So here you can change the name. Change the name to your server, wherever you want, in between these two quotes. The quotes let the server know what is in between is the name of the server. And the port is what port we're going to be running out of your internet. If you're on a VPS, this doesn't really matter. But if you guys are on a home hosted computer, this will matter and you will need to pay attention to this. But for now, we're going to put in our auth key. So in between these two commas, auth key, control V in our authentication key that we just made. And make sure we don't have any spaces here like that. Delete that bit. And you can mess around with here if you want, if you want a chat log. You can put that to true, or if you don't want one, you can put it to false. Leave the debug one here. You don't want to mess around with that. And private, this is obviously making it private for anyone to join. If you want it private, then make sure it's true. If you don't want it private, then change it to false. Very, very simple. Max cars, I have usually put that up to five. Max players, you can keep that to eight. It's really up to you. The more players you have, the more RAM it will use. But obviously, it doesn't really matter if you're only going to have you and your friends joining, because that will be the only people that will join. And here it's just a bunch of settings that's pretty complicated and you don't really need to worry about for now. If you guys do want to learn how to further develop your server by adding mods into it, like real vehicles, then make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be doing a future video on that. Regarding that, this video does well, but the previous Beam NG video is now over like 3,000 views. So that's pretty good. So I thought I'd hop in here and show you guys how to do this. Obviously, here is your map. This is slightly complicated, but it's not too bad. All you guys will need to do to change your map name. It's changed a little bit in, in between here. These two slashes, that's going to be the map name in your GTA 5 main directory. But yet again, I'll show you guys that in a later video. But anyway, for now, we can hit save and we can close our server config.toml. And we can try to run our BeamMP server once again. And now you should be able to see here we have zero error codes. And it says that everything is online with the port and everything is working. That's how we know we have successfully set up our Beam MP server. Now, all you guys are going to want to do to make sure that everything is working, 
We're now going to go in to our firewall section for our uh, internet. And this is going to be allowing a port to our server so you guys can join it through someone else's PC, through your own PC. And if you're running on a VPS like me, obviously you're not going to be on the same IP address. So you definitely need to port forward it. But it's pretty simple and it's not complicated at all. On your VPS or on your computer, all you guys are going to do is search add and it should pop up with Windows Defense Firewall with Advanced Security. Left click on that, should pop up with a little window here. And this is going to be our inbound and outbound rules. This is pretty much the same for every single 5M server ever or BeamNG server or Minecraft server. You always need to allow ports. So pretty much most servers run off the same ports. So double check in your server config what port you're running off. You guys can see here we're running off 30814. So we're going to control C that. And we can close our config again. You guys can already see here I already do have some inbound and outbound rules. So what you guys are going to want to do is hit new rule. And then we're going to do port. And then next, select TCP first, specific local port, and paste in the port we just copied from our server config. Then next, then allow the connection, allow all of these, and then name it something that you guys will know what it is. So BeamMP S for server, and then finish. And we're going to do the exact same thing. New rule, port, next. This time we're going to do UDP, paste in the exact same port, allow the connection, allow all of these. Beam, MP, S, and finish. And now for our outbound rules, it's pretty much the exact same thing. New rule, port, next, TCP, specific port, paste in our port, and this time allow the connection again. Select all of these, Let's name it the same thing. If you accidentally don't name it the same thing, it's not going to make a difference. It will still work. And then finish. And you guys probably already get the gist. We're going to do a new rule and then a port. Then next, paste in our port name, allow the connection. And then next, next again, paste in our name. And then finish. Now this should do it for pretty much every single person on a VPS and on a home hosted computer. This should have allowed the port for all of your friends to be able to join. But if it hasn't, then it means you guys will also have to do it on your router settings. Now to do that, all you guys are going to want to do is, since it's different for everyone, I can't really show it because it's also quite a secure thing. And also it's different for everyone, depending on your B on your internet provider. So it could be BTEE. -E. It's always going to be slightly different. But all you guys are going to want to do is search on your, on Google, whatever, how to add and allow ports on and then your Wi-Fi name. And usually it's a case of putting in your IP address into your address bar right here. And then it'll open up your router settings. And then you have to follow the exact same steps that we did just there, but through your Wi-Fi settings. And once you guys have done that, everything should be ready to join. So we're going to hop out of my VPS and we're going to go on to BeamMP and we should be able to join our server. Once you guys have started up your BeamMP multiplayer, all you guys are going to do is obviously do your standard thing on how you connect to a multiplayer server. Go to servers and then type in either your IP address or the name of your server. Now, if you guys didn't make it public, then obviously it's not going to show up on the list. And if you guys did, then obviously it will show up on the list. So all you guys would need to do, if you haven't made it public, is go to direct connect and then put in your port and your IP address. If you guys have made it public, then you should be able to very simply search it. You guys can see here, if I search HD network YT, so hey, highway trooper network and then YouTube, that is the name of my server and it is right here and ready to join. All you guys would have to do is left click on it and then connect and everything should work fine. And there you guys go. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next. And if you guys do want to know how to install custom mods into your guys' BeamMP server, then be sure to hit that notification bell for all of the future videos to come. But other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.